there and throw punches back and forth or do an attention stance or some drill while you can figure out, let me see, I'm gonna pair these two guys off, I gotta adjust this group, I gotta put the kids with this tip over there. Whatever adjustments you have to make, you do that behind the scenes, so to speak. So every time that, that the students are hearing what you have to say, it's from a position of confidence. And if you're able to do this, you're able to better lead your class. So such an important concept in teaching, and that is when placed in command, take charge. We're gonna start out by day to doing some the drills we are gonna do. These are uh, primarily designed for kids, although you can certainly do them with adults. These are attribute drills. And the reason why I say they're primarily designed for kids, I don't know about you, if you teach tumbling in your classroom, and whenever you do that with the kids, all the kids go, yeah, tumbling, they're excited. And the adults go, oh great, tumbling. They don't really like it. Well, some of these drills are a little bit harder on the body as well, so if you are doing it with your grown-up class, you just make sure they are adequately warmed up and you don't do it for an extended period of time. So I'm gonna call three of my students. Let's go, Mia, come on out. Jack, come on out, and Garrett, come on out, guys. If you wouldn't face the camera, we're gonna bow in. Thanks for helping out today. At ease position and class. Hup! And bow. All right, guys. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do some drills. We're going to test out your balance and your speed, okay? Okay, and your strength. So, I want everybody to get down on your knees to start out with. We're going to call this Seiza, both knees, if you would. Sit back. And the first drill is what we're going to do is we're going to pop up from here and we're going to hop up into a horse stance as fast as we can. Jack, I'm going to have you scoot over a little bit more this way. Yeah. Face the front. There we go. All right, so you have all that plenty of room. So, you guys ready to go? Yes, so, here's the first drill, guys. And ready and hop. Very nice. Back. That's pretty difficult. You guys did a good job with that. Try it again now. The idea is not to have to use your hands. At first, you might have to, or you lean forward. But as you get become better, you just spring up, the legs pop out. Let's try it again. Ready, and go. Back, try it again. Ready, one more time, and get ready to go, because in a second, ah, gotcha. All right, here we go. Ready, and go. Good job, guys. Back down. Now, this time, I want you to make sure that you're on the flat of your feet, on your instep, and not on the balls of your feet. Now, I want you to do it three times, up and back, real fast. Ready, and go. Oh, ow, glad the mat is padded. Good deal, guys. Stay down there. Now, this time you're going to get up and you're going to put your right leg back. You're going to pop up your right leg back into a guardy stance. You all understand what's going on? Yes, all right, here we go. Ready? And go! Oh, that's a little harder. Last time with that one, guys. Ready? And one more time here. And get ready. Go! Good job, guys. All right, take a breath. Now, sit down cross your legs. All right, this is what's going on this time, guys. We're going to get up from a guarding stance. So let's imagine, if you would, Jack, face me, please. Just turn and just go ahead and have a seat. Let me sit down. Like, let's imagine that I'm a bad guy. I'm coming and I'm approaching you, all right? And from this position, your ability to be able to stand up without leaving yourself open is important. So what I want you to do is you're going to rock forward onto your right knee. You, without using your hands, you're going to get up and put your right leg back. Let me, and give it a try. Go for it. Ooh, hey. not bad. Try it one more time. This time, try to see if you can do it without putting your hand down, OK? And go. You did it. Excellent. Very good. Turn around, face the front. We're all going to try that. You ready to go? So to break it down, this is what you want to do with this. If you've never done this before, the trick is to lean forward and rock onto your right knee. Now, you could do this, but when you do this, ah, you're leaving yourself wide open for attack. Okay? So when you're first learning it, you lean on the one leg and then up. But once you get more comfortable, you simply come straight up and set back with that leg. You guys ready to give it a try? Here we go. Ready? And scoot forward a little bit more, Jack. There we go. And go. Up you go. Excellent, guys. One more time. I don't want you to step forward at all. I want you to go just simply back, not forward. Ready? And go. Good job, guys. Now sit down. Cross your legs. So this time what's going to happen is there's going to be, a, imagine there's going to be an opponent behind you, OK? So let's imagine, Mia, I'm right behind you, all right? Now you don't want to get up and turn towards me. So you're going to get up. You're going to look over your right shoulder, and you're going to step back with your left that way. Let me see. Try it. Give it a try. Oh, not bad. One more time. You did an extra spin. That was extra credit she did. This time this foot is going to go right to there as you're getting up. Ready? And go for it. Up. Beautiful. You guys ready to give it a try? So opponent's right behind you. Ready? And go. Up, turn. Very nice. Last time. Ready? And go. Up, turn. Very good. Sit down now. Cross, excuse me, close your eyes. And if I tap on your shoulder, I want you to get up. You can open your eyes once I tap. There you go. Oh, towards me. Guardy stance. I'll try it one more time. Turn again. There we go. There we go. I'm sorry for not explaining that. There we go, Jack. You ready? If I tap on your shoulder, step back and turn towards me with a key eye. All right, very good, very good. Not bad. Are you ready over here? All right, good job, guys. All right, next one. This one's a little tricky, but I think you guys will be able to get through this. Is what I want you to do. Let me demonstrate first. Scoot over a little bit more. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can balance myself, my knees on my elbows, OK? So I'm going to go like so. And I'm simply going to lift my body up off the floor. You guys think you're ready to give it a try? Yes, sir. Come on back over here. It's a good strength and balance drill. All right, so here we go. Put your hands on the floor. Put your knees on the outside of your elbows. Lean forward and see if you can lift and hold yourself. Hold yourself. Oh, excellent, guys. Excellent. Beautiful. Beautiful. And relax. Now, I want you to try this. Let me demonstrate. Let me see if I can pull this off here. Scoot over a little bit. Give me a little room, Jack. This time, we're going to hold. And we're going to go right from this position. See if we can pop up to a, into a handstand, OK? Kind of tricky. If you don't do it, that's OK. Give it a try. Here we go. Ready? And give it a try, too, Mia. 
Ready, and go. Push, 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 push. All right, good effort, guys. That's a good way to develop some upper body strength. Okay, next one. Got a couple more here that are kind of fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to work on our leg strength, and this is how this is going to work. All right, we're going to roll, and when we come back up, we're going to stand up on one leg. It's kind of tricky, but you're going to use your momentum to do it. To do it. So I'm going to roll back, and I'm simply going to come like so, and one leg is going to come up. Then I'm going to come down, I'm going to roll back, and I'm going to come up on the other leg. You guys ready to give it a try? Sure. Okay, here we go. Ready, and... It's important that most of the kids aren't going to be able to do this for a while. It's just kind of a fun stretch for them. All right, and give it a try, guys. Roll back and come back up and try to stand up. Look at that. All right, not bad at all. Go back down right from there and then try it on the other leg. And the trick, very good, Jack. You almost had it there. That's it. That's it. Try to get a little momentum. Try to, get, try to go a little faster. Kind of roll up quicker, and that helps you get up. Boom. Even do it two or three times if you have to. Oh, almost. You'd be surprised. Use a hand if you need to, a little bit of a hand if you need to. Oh, my, you are so close. Okay, break. All right, that one's kind of tricky. I'm going to give you one that's even a little harder. You might not be able to do this one as well, but that's okay. You're working on it. We're going to hold one leg out, and we're going to see if we can go all the way down and all the way up without putting our other leg down. So watch. I'm going to come from here. I'm going to lift my knee up. I can extend it out if I want. I'm going to go down. And back up. Ouch. Okay, give it a try, guys. You know what? You may not make it back up, but go as slow down as you possibly can. All right, give it a try. And, and back up. Oh, one more time. Try it again. You guys are pretty sharp. Arm his leg is down, legs down. All right, good job, guys. And you want to try to do that on your both legs. I guess I got to try it on my other leg too, don't I? Okay. So leg is out. I go down. And back up. If you didn't try the other leg, try it just for fun. So we save it here. And leg out. You got hope. Oh, one more time, Jack. Go for it. Watch this, guys. Jack's going to get it this time. Go, go, go. Look at that. I didn't help a bit. Good job, guys. All right. Okay, so one more, all right? You guys want to try a coffee grinder? Sir. Sure. So we'd like to demonstrate a coffee grinder for me. Oh, how about Mia, you demonstrate, all right? So this is what we're going to go ahead, ma'am. One leg sticks out. We're going to slide. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Excellent. So what we're doing with this, we start with one leg out. And slowly, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate, and then I'm going to have you guys do it, okay? This leg is going to go slow. I'm going to lift one hand up, the other hand up, and I'm going to kick the leg up. And then once I get more comfortable, I'm going to do it a little faster, okay? So give it a try, guys. Sure. And leg is out, and... You know what? We better go one at a time. Why don't you go, Jack, so we don't have any collisions. And Mia, get the legs out. There we go. All right. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Scoot over a little bit. All right. And Garrett, let me see what you have. Scoot over a little bit more. There you go. That's it. Very nice. Coffee grinder. All three of you. Let's see if we can do it without having a collision. Ready? And go. Oh, what a sharp looking crew. Break. Stand up for me, please. Give yourself a double thumbs up. Class. Hup. And bow. High fives, guys. You're excused. I'm going to scoot you off the floor for a second, all right? Good job. We're going to move on to our a classroom management uh, strategy this month. And this also comes from the same lecture with Norman Schwarzkopf, or General Norman Schwarzkopf. And that, that is, is choose your battles wisely. And so what that has to do with is that if you always have to have things your way, then chances are pretty sign every time you go into a room, there's resistance. People around you are going, oh, no, here we go again. And pretty soon, you're, you're fighting over stuff that's unimportant. So how does this relate to the martial arts classroom? Twofold. Number one, with fellow uh, instructors. If you're out there and you, if you're team teaching with other people, uh, choose your battles wisely means that you don't always have to have the class maybe run your way. Maybe you just to let somebody else give some input.